Hey guys, so this is the look we're going to be filming today. It is Black Pearl, The Possessed Mermaid. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you're going to start off by powdering your face white all over for your foundation because she's kind of got this pale, kind of deceased look. And then we're going to take some greenish teal and put that all around the edges of our face where our contours would be. We're going to bring it in just a little bit more than we would bring in a normal contour because we're going to go back over it with another color later. And then we're gonna take um, a little bit of black and make those cheekbones pop and do that up in the temples as well. And this can be a black or like a dark purple, whatever. And then I'm taking a darker shadow and concentrating that right on the cheekbone and then blending it out. So I'm taking a lighter like fuchsia purple, putting that kind of all over my forehead and then going back over some of that teal contour that we did and doing it a little bit further back and around the edges towards the front of my mouth. And then I'm taking some more teal and putting that on my neck and contouring where all those veins kind of are and where your bone creases and stuff like that. Then I'm just going to take a darker blue and go back over that cheek contour again because that we want that to be very, very contrasted. And then I'm just taking some white paint and making some little scale designs on my forehead and you can kind of do whatever you want. I just made it completely symmetrical. Um, and then making this little kind of third eye in between uh, my two eyes. And I use some dots and things like that to kind of embellish it. You can really do whatever you want here. And then I'm taking some blue paint and just kind of contrasting the white paint and adding some highlights in some key places that I like. And now I'm using a light shadow on my lid. Actually, this is um, China White from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. I'm just putting that all over my lid and then putting some up against my brow bone as well, um, just to kind of highlight that area. And then I'm taking some red. I'm actually using Milk Cosmetics Enigma right here and just smoking that out in my crease behind the white. And now that I smoked out that red, I'm just layering some black deep in the crease right there to make that white on our lids really pop. And this will make our eyes so much more prominent in this look. Now I'm just going to start adding some black veins coming out of my cheeks and like, like that place in the center of my eyes and like from my eyelids, it looks like I'm crying. like possession and stuff. Then I'm just going to add some black pearl accents. I'm going to add one on my forehead and then I'm going to add some veins on my chest and add six there. Oh yeah, and contacts because contacts are cool.
So now we're going to get started on our brows and I'm doing ombre brows and I'm starting with black on the outer edges and then moving in with some red. And if you just take your brush and dip it in water and then dip it in eyeshadow, you can get a lot more precision for colored brows like this. I'm also going to extend the red down my nose to kind of contour that just a little bit. And then we're going to add some little points at the arch of our brow to kind of make little devil horns. So we're gonna take that shadow that we used on our eyes earlier, Enigma by Milk Cosmetics, and we're going to smudge that all around our mouth to make it look like we might have eaten someone recently. And then I'm just taking a red lip pencil from NYX Cosmetics and rubbing that all over my lips as well. And you can kind of smudge that out too. It helps a little. And then we're gonna add our wig. And then you do liner. I'm using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. You use a pencil liner on your waterline and mascara, and we're done. Also, fangs for this look are totally optional, but they really help add to the effect. And thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.